you go check it out. I'm gonna eat my arm. Alrighty. Look here at Daytona Beach. This is the, the roof. hotel, yeah. We need a roof. Oh. There's a bunch of stuff right there. Or like, uh, well, we can walk to Joe's and eat, whatever. Oh, what's the roof? Is that Joe's part of Joe's or no? Uh, it looks like it's upstairs, but maybe it's the bar. Mm -hmm. Hi, Fred. trucks out here. No, that was a rental. That was beach rental. So oh. Oh, okay. Where are we at? We're at something. Uh, we're Fort, here. There's, a sign, there's a sign up here. Montezanas or something like that. Montezumas. Montezuma. Montezuma. <laughs> <laughs> Matanza. Matanza. Fort Matanza. Oh. Yeah, right. Spain, World, Florida. I think that's all that's left of the fort. I think you're right. Wow. It is. Well, I think that's all it was to begin with. It was basically just a place to put cannons. Really? Oh, okay, we're going to have one. tours. Yeah, now that's where we're going. Oh. I didn't know about the time, so. And Jeez. it's 3 o'clock. Ooh, we're not going to. We're not going to make it. That's, that's waiting a lot, awful long time to get yeah. there. We're yeah. only 15 minutes away from St. Augustine. So. Okay. So we're, this was on the way. On, right on. Oh, it's the visitor oh, seven. To get to, to center. Get to the, uh, oh, we get on a ferry? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah. Oh, 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 Wild oyster. oyster oysters. Why am I can't say that right? I think I'm still sleeping. It's the fort, uh, and we need a ferry to get down there. But we're on our way to St. Augustine, so we're not gonna be able to wait for that to come. And Oh, yeah, look at all the oysters. Look at them all. Holy smokes. Oh, oh. Nice. Oh. Wow. 
how pretty that is. So these people already, what, opened these up and took them, you mean? I guess. I don't know. Oh. Oh, you're doing another panorama. Walking to the Pirate Museum in St. Augustine, Florida. Are we gonna? Oh, it's over there. It's on that side. So we just gotta cross over. Cute little town. Oh yeah, here. It's nice and cool in here. Yeah, <laughs> but it's not too cool. Port Royal, Jamaica. It's in, uh, so if you've watched the movie uh, Black Sails, uh -huh. this is all of it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Queen Anne Flintock. to a cutlass and a dagger. Wow. Oh God. Fucking heads? <laughs> huh? No, so taking somebody's eyeball out over here. <laughs> Instruments for every oh. surgical need. Look at that. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Can you imagine biting nope. something to... Jeez. Ooh, yeah. Oh my lord. Look at what they used. Wow.
the hard branches. <laughs> oh, Lexi startled me. I can't see it. Yep, I can't see it. Shoot. There's the pictures of it. buildings are. It does. It does. Goes all the way down. Down. <coughs> They're cute. This area is cute. Ooh, cute little purse. Built in 1798. Huh. Cinnabon. So, and then we have the bacon. Gourmet popsicles. Cute little area. Shop the whole. I don't think, oh, the I don't think I you see. still have your fire off. Yeah. Do you? Hey. Hola. The treasury. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Oh, my battery's gonna die soon. Oh, Castile, Castile de San Marcos. Wow, it is big. Look at that. Oh, look at that. They do uh, reenactments, I think. Entrada. Wow. Alright, let's go see what we can get in there. Is that time? Oh, it's $15 for a dollar. What? You have to pay? Yeah, hey, I don't want to. Oh, apparently not. Look at, he's cruising. Cruising, too, Yeah, the gates are closed, too. You go through that little drawbridge. Look at all the cannons. So all this was water, wasn't it? I bet, huh? Moat. A moat. All those people are in there. We're just no man's land. Keep off moats there. Yeah. A lot of history right here. Right? Yeah. Look at those gun turrets. Yeah, the corners. Can you imagine being there with guns sticking out? Oh no. I wonder who that was. That one. That just looks like the guy that's sitting. You know, so he can come out and look down the wall. No. Uh, and make sure nobody's coming down. Lord of the Rings. Pretty cool. So we can go down by the guns and walk around. With yep, we can do that. History is amazing, huh? Amazing. So they can shoot. It looks like. Oh yeah, where I see that. They can shoot that. down the front of the uh, wall. Oh yay, sun went down. Yeah, so we can, yeah, oh. can stand up there. Wow. That's a pretty good sized moat, I gotta say. Yeah it is. Yeah. What if they had like crocodiles and stuff in there? I don't know what. I mean, if, like, I'm, I'm sure, sure they, they did. did. Yep. If you think about it, yep. Makes sense. I throw some craters in there. <laughs> oh yeah, so Ronnie's or something. <laughs> so yeah. look at that. So that must have been where it, see those little things sticking out of the for drainage? Drainage, yeah. yeah. That's what it did for water. But, for the water. But then they have more cannons on places to put cannons. So they might not have had to keep them there. They just moved them wherever the threat was. And you see the, yeah, you the can spots see. underneath the yep. windows. They tell the walls are kind of angle with angle. Yeah. yeah. If they hit something, it would bounce off it. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is so yeah. cool. And probably also make it a little bit stronger, I would assume. Wide base and... So, what I got a feeling like a straight up wall here. was hard to build at the time. They probably didn't have the... Maybe they didn't have to use that technology. But they, they pyramided. Yeah. They make a lap? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder what that was used for. That looks like some kind of bridge to get across. You think? It does oh, look like it. Area. Well, that, I bet well, you, that I bet you all line. this was part of it. All of this was part of whatever. Well, it's a catch it's, pond now, so who knows? <laughs> yeah, who knows? There's probably, you know, if we took the tour, we'd probably know. Yeah, well. <laughs> But for uh, saving the 30 bucks each? Exactly. Oh, oh yeah, 30 bucks a pair. We'll yeah. speculate. <laughs> we can just Google it all. No, there you That's go. Right. Or we can just make it up and just go with that. Yeah. Oh, I like that, dude. <laughs> right there. Oh, there's something. You want to go down here? All right, let's do it. That's a. Because <laughs> my knees. <gasps> Old lady coming down. That's a big... Those are big steps, so be careful. 
They're definitely not even. No. <laughs> yeah, they are varying heights, aren't they? <laughs> Oh yeah, you can see where it all just dripped down. It does feel like Oh, it does. God, it feels good. Oh, look at it. It looks like they patched that up. Yeah, cracked. Cracked, yep. That's the thing, water gets you. There's a lot of freezing here. Well, look at all the great day you got. I know. Tomorrow's going to be fun because we get to sit in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> we get to sit down. <laughs> yeah, it's less than, less than an hour away. So. Yep. We got to pick those guns up, man. Oh, no. The furnace is blazing hot. A team of soldiers prepares hot shot oh. to fire at wooden oh. warships, heating candles. So uh -huh. they glow during a naval attack. One soldier tends full fire and uses and loads the cannonballs. After 30 minutes, other soldiers use tongs to remove the red hot shot and carry it to the guns along the seawall. The goal of hot shots was to set an enemy ships on fire. Although soldiers have never fired hot shot in battle, they drilled for the possibility. The advent of ironclad ships during the Civil War made hot shot furnaces obsolete. Wow. Wow, look at that. Look at the size of those guns. That's what I said, they're shooting a cannonball at you. I mean, they're shooting a freaking bowling ball. Okay, through treaty, Spain ceded Florida to the United States in 1821. Built to defend the city, the Casillo remained a defensive post when ownership changed. Renamed Fort Marion, the Americans made the Castillo part of the U.S. coastal defense system. They brought the fort's defenses up to date by thickening the seawall, filling in the section of the moat, and building granite and iron semicircular gun platforms. But at only seven feet above sea level, the howitzers and cannons here in the water battery could threaten ships miles away. In that corner right there, I think it was right over there. That two over there. <laughs> oh gosh, babe, look at your feet, how dirty they are. That is so gross. <laughs> How'd they get so dirty? How'd you get so dirty? You kick, you you drag. Today's adventure is taking us on an airboat trip, and uh, yeah, we'll see if we see some alligators, and it'll be fun. So uh, come on board.
out of gas already. <laughs> <laughs> Any strong swimmers on board? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got some volunteers? You guys go ahead. We'll wait here. <laughs> <laughs> Show us the first stroke, though, will you? Oh, Captain's going to stay with the ship. <laughs> number one rule. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Just kidding, guys. We got plenty of gas. This is just where I start the self guided walking tour. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll come back tomorrow and try to find whatever's left of you. Right, I like it. So I can start my tours out here with a nice scenic view. Give you guys a little introduction to the body of water that we're going to be exploring today. This is Westlake Tohopakiliga. I always keep a crisp high five ready for anybody who can spell that. <laughs> a little bit of a mouthful. Even the locals, we just call this Westlake. Keep it nice and simple. It's one of the most popular lakes in the area for largemouth bass fishing. People come down here from all over the country to compete in the big tournaments that we host down here. I don't know what you guys know about largemouth bass fishing, but generally I'm pretty happy if I can hook like a three, four pounder. These guys are out here catching eight, nine, ten, bigger than that. Huge fish out here. It's great fishing. Wow. The reason that the fish is so good is that the entire lake is super, super shallow. Very, very shallow body of water. Where we're going to be at for your tour today is only going to average about one to three feet deep. Sometimes even a little bit less than that. Wow. Hopefully not too much less than that because it makes your tour a lot longer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you go to the far side of the lake, the deepest spot you can possibly find out here is only 13 feet deep. Oh. It's a very shallow body of water. Great fishing. My uh, the tournaments like to come down here because there's plenty of room for everybody. All said and done, we're sitting on 23,000 acres of fresh water. It's all rainwater. Wow. It all collects here and it's oh, wow. all steadily flowing south. We follow a long chain of canals and lakes all the way down, eventually feeding into the main body of the Everglades National Park. So they also refer to us as the headwaters to the Everglades. Oh. So it all technically starts right here. The same water, the same vegetation, the same wildlife all the way throughout. Only difference being just a couple of lakes. Anybody can come out here. But because this lake is so big, feeding through a canal to several other really large lakes. This isn't even the biggest lake on the chain. And it keeps going down, all the water's flowing together, and then you include the entirety of the Everglades itself. It's the world's largest singular freshwater ecosystem. Home to a lot of really cool nature and wildlife. Great scenery out here. I'd like to try to remind folks that Florida's not just Disney and beaches. Right. This is the side of Florida I grew up in. I love it out here, and I love being able to share it with people. Very nice. Pretty. Right there, mm -hmm. I can oh, see his face too. Yeah, I can see his snow <laughs> like his face. It's actually a her. Her. Really? Female alligator named Miss Susie. Miss Susie? Oh, Miss Susie. This is Miss Susie's I'm territory right here. Yes. This whole floating <laughs> patch of grass is her. Where she lives. Right there. You can see the nose right there. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. Right there, tucked back in the grass. She definitely sees you. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Susie's about eight feet long, a <gasps> male oh, wow. American alligator. Now a couple different ways that you can estimate an alligator's overall size, especially when you can only see their head in the water. That happens a lot when they're swimming out, out and about, or just like tucked away in the vegetation just like her. Whatever the length of an alligator's head in inches is going to be the length of their body in feet. Oh. oh. That's a good rule of thumb. It's fairly accurate. So if you guys are here and you're visiting like a lakefront water park or something, and See a cute little 10 inch alligator head you want to go check it out probably don't <laughs> yeah wow okay another good way you can tell is if you can see from the very tip of their snout to where their hind leg is connected to their body at the hip that's going to be half oh the tail makes up half their overall body length right behind the hind leg it's very very thick it's the most muscular part of a gator's body um, it's where all the good meat comes from and as their tail continues on toward the end it flattens out and that's what they use to swim through the water so gators don't use their legs to swim. Their legs just kind of go limp unless they're pushing vegetation out of the way. They're going to use their head to determine their direction, their tail to determine their speed. So alligators are very, very fast. Very fast animals. They're what we call an ambush predator. So they don't chase their food down. They don't run it down like a lion or like a cheetah. They just wait for something to come close to them. Okay. 
Jesse. This is Jesse's territory right here, this big floating patch of uh, grass. Hey, let's just let me grab one. Sorry, Rhonda. No, you're good. So we're right in the middle of their mating season. Alligators mate through the month of May. She'll have her nest built and all of her eggs laid in it by about.